Former head of Israeli Air Force Intelligence and chairman of Hashomer HaChadash, Brigadier General Ram Shmueli, is joining us now in the studio to discuss this weekend's escalation in the north. Thanks for joining us. Hi. So Israel has deployed Iron Domes all across the north in the last 24 hours. Why do you think that they're doing that? And does it mean that we should expect more events in the coming days? No, those are uh, measurements that you have to do uh, to be prepared in mm -hmm. case of something uh, of escalation of this kind of confrontation, even though I don't uh, believe that it's going to happen. Nevertheless, you have to be uh, prepared like they have been prepared in this Saturday when there was a penetration of this drone. So the, I've been in those positions. I've right. been in alert at 3 o'clock in the morning and how to take off at uh, 3 and a half in the morning to uh, intercept the drone. I've been in a position of uh, attacking uh, uh, site batteries and then one of our airplanes was hit down uh, back in uh, 1982 and how the squadron uh, So you've recovered. seen this with your own I, eyes. I've seen this. Well, well, my question is, do you think, I mean, first of all, the question is if this was intentional in the first place, but why did Iran decide to test Israel by sending a drone right now or was it a mistake? No. It, I don't believe, uh, you know, I don't know what the Iranians uh, blame, uh, uh, meant to do. The only things that I know, I see the notions and the process of the Iranian penetrating from Tehran through Baghdad to Syria. They are penetrating to Syria. They are building their infrastructure mm -hmm. and those targets of Iranian infrastructure that we finally attack in Saturday, they've been there. We well, monitor and that, them. And I mean, can we assume that that was bound to happen? Because Israel has been saying that, you know, the country will not allow um, Iran to create a, a front, obviously, right here on, on Israel's borders. Um, do you think that every time Israel strikes targets in Syria from now, and we're going to see an immediate response by Iranian proxies? They, maybe they've done a mistake. They sent this drone, and this was a kind of an excuse for us to... Uh, write down the red lines of Israel, as that we said, for many months. So you say an excuse Israel was looking for, in other words? Uh, not, I don't know if Israel was looking for, but Israel was very clear-cut about what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. This is when Prime Minister went to Putin a couple of uh, weeks ago, he said, he told him the same thing. We are not going to allow the Iranian to be on the front line with Israel. And this is, they are coming yeah. with their drones, with accurate rockets. And the Air Force is very prepared to attack those uh, targets. Now, reports suggest that Iran has asked Hamas to start a front on Israel's southern border as well. Do you think that that is going to happen? The Iranians are involved every place in the Middle East, even in Hamas, even in northern uh, Sinai, in Yemen, and of course in Syria and uh, Iraq. So, and they maneuver all those fronts in favor of their own interests. So if there is a tension in the north, okay, let's do something right. in the south. So probably you are right about your assumption. Not that I know, but I think this is a, a good assumption what's happened. All right. Thank you so much for joining us.